So it will cost you maybe $20 million to blow up an air, a $1 billion aircraft carrier. So the United States has these aircraft carriers, and they cost like a billion dollars, okay? They're very expensive, but they're very powerful. Now, in a sym symmetrical warfare, what happened is Iran sends its entire navy against this one aircraft carrier of the United States. And then what happens? The United States blows up the entire Iranian Navy, okay? So you don't do that, okay? You do not send your Navy against an American aircraft carrier. What you do instead is you send drones, okay? Or drone swarms. So what they did in the Millennium Challenge was they had these suicide boats, right? Charging these aircraft carriers. And guess what, guys? If there's a lot of them, like a thousand of them, you can't stop all of them. And if one hits, then your boat sinks. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, this is what we call asymmetrical warfare. Now, what's important to understand is that in asymmetrical warfare, you have to control how much resources you use, okay? So, for example, this aircraft carrier costs like a billion dollars. The drone swarm, okay, a drone may be a thousand dollars for a real one, okay? So, it'll cost you maybe $20 million to blow up an air, a $1 billion aircraft carrier. And this is why Iran want, would win a war because Iran would employ asymmetrical warfare, drone swarms against the American aircraft carriers.